Hey guys, welcome to the channel, The Pop Enthusiast. I am Paul, and I'm super excited about this video because my Transformer NFTs finally arrived. And so I was able to get all four legendaries from this set. I bought some on the secondary market for fairly cheap. Transformers was one of my favorite cartoons uh, back as a kid in the 80s and 90s. So without further ado, let's take a look. So these came in uh, these individual pod sorters. So I've only I've not seen this before. So typically Funko sends like two at a time and those other uh, pot like two that fits two and this only fits one. So let's take a look at these. I believe they're 1550 pieces each. So these were the NFT redeemables from the, the previous Transformers uh, series that was dropped. So let's take a look at the first one. And it is uh, wow, that looks really good. Sideswipe. So here is Sideswipe in the box. I really like the NFT boxes. They have a really cool color scheme to them. Uh, so you can see this was 1,550 pieces. So you can only get this when you redeem it. So here is Sideswipe. So, you know, initially I wasn't really happy about uh, there being a Transformers NFT because I have all the other Transformers pops and this made it uh, more difficult to be able to be a completionist, obviously for one of my favorite lines. Now, I, I didn't really care too much about the grail from this line, which was the gold Optimus Prime. Would it be cool to have? Of course, uh, but it's not a must. It's not like a different character or something. It's just a gold Optimus Prime. It doesn't really have any relevance or significance except for it's rare. Uh, so I don't really care about that. And then the Freddy Funko as Bumblebee, it was cool, but it doesn't necessarily, it's not a part of the Transformers world necessarily. So. Here is Sideswipe. So let's go ahead and take a look at this out of box. So here he is out of box, Sideswipe. So it still has the overall blocky kind of look that the other uh, Funko Transformers do, which I don't love, uh, but I, I don't really know how you would do it differently, to be honest, as a Funko Pop. But here is Sideswipe, one of the good guys, the Autobots. All right, next up, let's open this box. Another Autobot, Hot Rod. So again, 1,550 pieces. This I think was the cheapest one to get on the secondary market. I think he was around $30, $40 for the longest time for some reason. So here is Hot Rod. Uh, let's take a look at him out of box. Here he is, Hot Rod out of the box. He's got more of a kind of human looking face in a way, kind of like a little uh, bigger chin there. If you compare it to kind of this, this guy. Here he is, he's got his pistol, his fist is clenched, got the wings in the back. I don't remember kind of what vehicles these guys like turn into. I'll have to look that up. But here is Hot Rod, another Autobot. All right, now next up, we have a Decepticon, one of the bad guys. And this is Rumble. 1,550 pieces as well. Uh, really cool uh, Decepticon here. Was really uh, glad to see them kind of step out and do different kind of lesser known uh, Transformers, which was always cool. So let's take a look at him out of the box. Here he is, not too much going on, just a kind of straightforward uh, standing there pose, arms at his side, kind of blocky. Uh, so it's all right, uh, but cool to have a rumble pop for sure. And then the last one is another Decepticon. And then the last one is another Decepticon. And it is Devastator in his green and purple outfit. So here is the Devastator. So this is a hefty pop here. Look how thick his head is here. Um, so here he is, Devastator out of box, bright neon green uh, color. And it's really cool, even the detail of his foot. You can see one of them is kind of fully formed and the other one has a gap there for when he transforms into that part of his vehicle. He's got a pistol here, really, really neat. There is the Devastator. So really cool. So I, I know that this uh, line of NFTs was really popular. So I'm assuming they're probably going to come out with a Series 2 Transformers, which I'm kind of dreading a little bit. I, I just would prefer them to come out with another line of Transformers and maybe even have some exclusives down the road or something and just keep it to the normal pop stuff. I'm not a big NFT fan, uh, but I did what I had to to pick these up as a lot of people probably did. But here you go. Here are the Transformer legendary NFTs. So we have Sideswipe, Hot Rod, Rumble, and Devastator. Let me know in the comments if you were able to pick these up, if you are a Transformers fan, what do you think about these? And if you have them, are you gonna display them in the box or out of the box? I'm probably gonna keep these out of the box, to be honest, just to, to go with the rest of my Transformers. I think they're better displayed and look better that way. That's just my opinion. But thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel uh, for more Funko Pop and pop culture related content. 
and we will see you next time. Autobots, transform and roll out.